Hello everyone and welcome to the Minimalism Made Simple podcast. My name is Rebecca and I'm the blogger over at minimalismmadesimple.com. I encourage you to head on over to that website to check out our free printables. I also recently just launched my ebook, which is called Why Minimalism? The Choice is Simple. And I'll leave a link for that in the description below. Thank you so much for tuning in today and let's get started with today's episode. Welcome to today's episode and today we're going to cover setting intentional goals. So if living an intentional life sparks your curiosity, setting intentional goals will help you to see it through. Personally, I try to spend a few times a year renewing and refreshing my intentional goals in order to continue living a life of purpose. Intentional goals allow you to focus on planning for things that you desire in life, little actions that make big differences. If you've been getting stuck on how to live a life of intention and how you should plan for it, I'm going to cover a few intentional goals, ideas that you can take with you today. So if this sounds good to you, let's go ahead and dive right in. The first goal I have is to learn something new. When you're learning, you're growing. Learning something new motivates us. It gives us something to look forward to, especially when it's something that you enjoy. The second one I have for you today is to focus on the present. Our minds are constantly consumed with worries for the past and anxiety for the future. Give your mind a rest by staying focused on the present. By doing this, we can release ourselves from unwanted stress and worry by living day by day. The third goal I have is to give more to others. Did you know that by giving to others, we actually give to ourselves? Giving makes us feel good. The sheer act of helping others creates a positive feeling within us. Giving can come in different forms, not only physical, but emotional or mental, such as love, support, and advice. Number four is important, which is to practice gratitude. Gratitude is something we should be experiencing every day. Set gentle reminders of what you're grateful for in your life. You can practice this through writing, repeating, or simply saying your gratitudes out loud. I love this intentional goal, which is a social media detox. If you feel that you are spending too much time on social media lately, you can set an intentional goal of taking a social media detox. Social media detoxes are heard of intentionally staying away from the noise and spending time doing something else. It's up to you. You can take a day, several days, or simply just a few hours to regroup and refresh. And last but not least, it's actually to say no more often. We are constantly being presented with opportunities, responsibilities, and events. Do you sometimes find it hard to say no? I know I do. It's completely natural for us to feel bad about saying no, but intentional living is all about committing to things that serve a purpose. Setting an intentional goal to say no when you are feeling overwhelmed with commitments is key. You can practice this by setting healthy boundaries for yourself and respectfully declining offers and invitations. After hearing some of these examples, what are some intentional goals for 2021 do you plan on setting? I suggest getting out your favorite journal or notebook and writing some of them down. Thank you so much for tuning in today. And don't forget, you can head on over to my website at minimalismmadesimple.com to check out my free principles, as well as my new ebook, Why Minimalism, The Choice is Simple. I'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.